everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with three ideas for Christmas decorations made from natural materials. If you prefer more organic and minimal decor in your home, this idea will be right for you. They won't last as long as typical Christmas decorations, but in my opinion they look more special and sometimes even smell amazing. So without any further ado, let's get right into the first project. This project I start with creating cone shape out of the cardboard. You really want something thicker than paper, but still flexible enough to be able to bend it. I drew one quarter of a big circle and cut it out. You can make it uh, any size you like, it will always work out. I roll it to get a cone shape and glue it to secure. I cut its bottom straight. I gather branches, which I've collected on my wall. I cut them into smaller pieces. Not sure what this tree is called, but this project can be done with any other type of greenery as well. There's many of this tree around where I live and each year I use it during Christmas time. It smells amazing and will all last quite long without the water. I start from the bottom of my cone and start gluing the small pieces of greenery next to each other, quite close uh, to cover the cardboard well. I make one row at a time and I go all around. Once the first row is done, I go slightly higher and create another one. And I do it all the way up uh, to the top till the whole cone is covered. By creating the rows of greenery, you give this decoration more realistic, miniature tree look. At the top of it I glue my soldo star, which I've created in one of my previous videos. I will link to it uh, for you down below. Cute and minimal looking decoration made from natural materials. I made dry oranges two years ago and I still have them and use as a decoration during Christmas. This time I want to add a little bit more of color, so apart from oranges I will also use lime, lemon and grapefruit. I cut each citrus into thin slices. Then I dry them by tapping them with cloth. You can use kitchen towel, but for more eco option, I use cotton cloth, which I can wash later on. More excess juice you remove now, the quicker it will take them to dry in the oven. I place all the slices on the oven rack. This way, a warm air will dry them from both sides. I place them in the oven for about 3 hours at 120 Celsius degree. I take the metal wreath ring and wrap craft paper around it. It's only so the citrus slices have a bigger area to stick to. If you want, uh, you can make it more natural. You can always make the ring yourself by gathering empty branches together into circle shape. I spread the slices on my ring before I start gluing them. I want to design the look first and then make it complete. I start with the bigger slices and gradually add smaller and smaller ones. So 
to attach them I'm using hot glue. I check which part of the slice is flat and touch the base, then add glue to it. To finish it off, I take green ribbon and make bow shape. If you correctly dry the citruses, this wreath will last you for years. I think it's beautiful and unique decoration for this season. As a base for my next project, I'm using thick rope, ideally would be even thicker than the one I have. I will also need thin wire. I have two different types, but at the end I only use the green one. I have a variety of green branches, again all collected when I went for a walk. I take one small piece from each type and gather them together. I take my wire and tie them all together at the bottom. Then I take this and add it to my rope. At first I only tie them at the bottom, but then I also had to do it about halfway the length. I take another branches and add them to the rope slightly further than the previous one. This way it covers the previous wire and creates fuller look. I always try to keep each greenery group similar size, but I just play around with it. You want to achieve organic look. I add the grooves to the rope one at a time till the rope is fully covered. Greenery always face the same direction. You can add some extra decoration to it to make it more festive. It will look grey on the fireplace and on the mirror or lying on the windowsill. I hope you like these ideas for natural Christmas decorations. If you do, don't forget about the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.